Uh, hiya, it's Michael Josem here and uh, I'm running to be a strong voice in the, in the by-elections happening on Thursday for the Douglas South. Um, however, before we get into any of that business, uh, just want to invite you and your whole family, come on down to Castletown Tin Bath Races uh, this afternoon. Uh, back before this uh, whole election campaign was even announced, I, uh, I said that uh, I would uh, take part in a bit of a charity fundraiser. You see, yesterday was my birthday. Uh, I turned 39 yesterday. Uh, and so uh, as a result, um, I thought uh, it would be a fun birthday thing, head down to Castle Down for the Tin Bath Races and, uh, and take part in a charity fundraiser for the Manx Solidarity Fund. Uh, Basically, uh, as part of the whole Tim Bath festivities, um, there's a little bit of a, what they're calling a flying competition or flying attempt. Uh, and basically what's going to happen is I'm going to run down uh, the uh, Castletown Pier, um, like, a, like a runway as it were, uh, and then I'm going to fly gloriously um, across uh, Castletown Harbour. It might be a little bit of an exaggeration because running is a generous d word to describe what I do, uh, which is more accurately described as, uh, as uh, hobbling like a three-legged giraffe. Uh, and, uh, and second of all, I'm going to fall ingloriously into Castletown Harbour. Um, going to make a mess of myself. It's going to be ridiculously wet uh, in the harbour. Hopefully the weather is dry. Um, but uh, it's all for a good cause. It's all for the Manx Solidarity Fund. And so over the last few, uh, few months, so many people have been affected by the whole um, coronavirus thing. And one of the things that I think is great about the Isle of Man is there are so many people who are willing to help out neighbours. Uh, and so the Manx Solidarity Fund is a really good manifestation of that uh, because it's basically it's neighbours helping out neighbours. Um, some big corporations like Zurich and, and others have chipped in big chunks of money, uh, which is good. Um, but it's all fundamentally all there to support Manx people who are going through a bit of a tough time. So um, I'm doing that on, um, on this afternoon, uh, so come on down. Um, on the, on the by-election business, um, as I make my tea here, uh, on the by-election business, uh, actually you know, chatting to people over the last uh, few weeks, so many issues have been picked up in this week's Courier. Uh, and, uh, and so I thought it might be useful to grab yesterday's paper, which I've got here. Um, and uh, let me add milk too. Um, just a splash. Um, but, uh, you know, just, just on this front cover alone, um, it really picks up so many different things that people have been chatting to me uh, uh, as I've been knocking on doors the last, uh, last couple of months. Um, first of all, GCSC joy for many. Congratulations to everyone who's, uh, who's got their GCSC results and are happy with them. Uh, there was a bit of a debacle in recent weeks with, uh, with the other results. Um, it is good that, you know, perhaps belatedly, but uh, it looks like, like most of the um, exam results are going to be corrected in one way or another. Uh, but what really I've heard from uh, parents and kids and, and the students themselves has been how important it is that grades are, are fair. Uh, and that's really got to be the bottom line. Uh, it's unfortunate it's taken a, a little bit longer than we would have liked. Uh, and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm sure there are still some anomalies that will need to be fixed. Um, so if there are anomalies, let me know. Um, feel free to drop me an email or uh, text me or whatever works. Uh, my phone number is 488-557. Um, the other thing that people are expressing some concern about is up here on the right-hand side, um, 600 people are returning to the island uh, every week, uh, which is, um, you know, they're Manx people coming home, which is good. We should welcome them home. Uh, but one of the things that uh, I guess I have a disagreement with the government's policy about is I believe that we should be testing, 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 testing. Uh, our on-island facility has capacity um, for up to 200 or at least 200 people a, a day to be tested um, for the coronavirus. Uh, if we've got 600 turning to the island every week, then that's, what's that, like 80 or something? Um, is that right? 80, 90, thereabouts. Um, people are... Uh, a day are coming back, so we certainly have the capacity to test them. And so my very simple view to the, to the government is that we should be using that capacity. Uh, certainly testing will not catch everyone, uh, but let me be very clear that testing no one will, will catch no one. Uh, and so we need to fix that. Uh, and we need to fix that because, because people are coming back into, into homes with their, with their families who are not required to isolate. Um, there are people who, who can be put at risk as a result. Uh, and so, and so, you know, my simple view is let us test and identify as many people as possible who have the disease, um, 
And if they do, then let's look for ways so that they do not go back into into affect their families uh, and do not go back into infect the wider community. Um, the other thing here is down in the bottom, there was a story here about how just one email swayed um, the Environment Minister, Environment Minister Boot, um, to introduce his proposal to um, to uh, start or introduce these uh, additional birds from across, these grey partridges, uh, and to shoot them. And, uh, you know, it was very good that we were able to, as a community, we were able to, you know, be so loud and vocal to, to defeat that uh, that proposal. In, in fact, the minister never even proposed it in, in, in Tinwood in the first place, uh, formally. Uh, but uh, what it revealed, <laughs> the emails were a little bit funny because the email from the from the person said, hey, look, I'm, a, I'm an avowed, uh, what did he, well, the word he used was conversationalist, uh, when I think they meant conservationist. Uh, and, uh, and, uh, and really, it's, you know, this is what I'm talking about when, when I say we've got to get our priorities right as a community. You know, we need to be focused on health, we need to be focused on jobs and we need to be focused on easing the squeeze on household finances instead of being distracted by this nonsense about changing the law to introduce partridges and shoot them. Uh, you know, I, I, I know I've been harking on about that a bit, but, uh, you know, I've been here listening to what people have been saying the last, uh, last few months uh, in that we need to be focused on jobs, health care, uh, and easing the squeeze on household finances. I know I say it over and over again, but that's really what I'm you know, going to be uh, a strong voice in Tinwood for, is to ensure that this government continues to focus on those three priorities, because everything else, this talk of shooting partridges, is a, it's a distraction. It's a waste of time. We shouldn't be doing that. We should be focused on jobs, healthcare, and easing the squeeze on household finances. So that's really important. That's why I'm running. Uh, and I've heard loud and clear that that's what we need to be focused on uh, as a community. Um, because I guess finally, uh, and I'll wrap up shortly, uh, is that uh, we've got the, up in the top right hand corner here, we've got this uh, little story here that uh, they've got 14 jobs inside. Uh, there are literally thousands of people now unemployed here on the Isle of Man. Unemployment rate, the government released this, this, year, this week rather, um, that uh, unemployment here on the Isle of Man is now at 5%. Uh, which compares with 3.95% across uh, in the United Kingdom. Uh, when you compare like for like, um, the unemployment rate here on the Isle of Man is now about a quarter higher than it is across in the UK, which is the first time it's been that much higher than the UK in a very long time. Uh, and so um, it's really important that we focus on this because 14 jobs is not going to go very far. Uh, we need to fix that. Uh, and so that's why I guess ultimately I'm running in this, in this by-election, to be a strong voice on health, jobs, and easing the squeeze on uh, household finances. So um, please come and join us on Thursday. Send a message. You can vote at Pool Rose Methodist Church. You can vote at Pri Annika Primary School or over at Valagiel. Um, either one, polls are open from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Join us, send a message, and let's remember to focus on health, jobs, and easing the squeeze on household finances. But other than that, this afternoon, come on down to, to Castletown Tin Baths. Should be a good day for the whole family. Should be a bit of fun. Uh, you can see me make a fool of myself, um, hopefully for a good cause, and uh, and uh, should be a bit of fun. So I'll hopefully see you this afternoon. Um, otherwise, Thursday, 8 a.m., 8 p.m., send a message that we need to focus on jobs, health, and uh, easing the squeeze on household finances.